when somebody stands up and says painstakingly putting this nation together then you begin to say the nation is not a nation it's a company a company and you have to buy your shares this is where wakenya sema no no atuka tutakubali hiyo hatutakubali it is one of the items ambayo tunakusanya sahihi kusema hatuwezi kukubali kuwa kampuni sisi ni makabila mengi na tena makabila yote inaitwa Kenya kama mwana insist kwamba Kenya ni kampuni basi kila mtu achukue hisa zake <laughs> si ndio and i pray to god it will never happen but leaders have to listen and leaders have to know nobody is indispensable we are all subject to the authority of god and so ah uh, mimi nilishukuru sana police wa machakos eh they did exactly what they're supposed to do na maandamano because kila wakati ni police ndio wanaleta dhuluma ukitupa tear gas na wananchi wamekuwa werefu i think we must have some of the people there the policemen wanatupatia zingine usiku imeona <laughs> inatupwa ukiwa korofi ukileta ukorofi wanakutupia as if by the way our policemen are also struggling wako na watoto shule wanalala njaa mshahara duni and they, it pains them to do what they have to do obeying commands lakini i want to tell some of them kuna wengine wanaweza kupatiwa wrong and constitutional command na unaweza ukakataa i'm not saying you anza kubishana na county commander wako wa police lakini wewe ukifikiria ni mwananchi uko na watoto usiumize jamii wa Kenya wako na unajua katiba inakupa uwezo kuwa an independent a national police service not a force we even change the name from police force to police service because mtumishi wa kila mtu kwa hivyo hii tabia ya kila wakati tiagas karibu waumize Raila this time eh mimi pale madhari karibu nimalizwe pale madhari ama gari mawili moja inatoka pande hii pande hii pastors you need to pray and i want to call on the church please stand in the gap we used to talk of the remnant now every person who prays and you have the spirit of the, the spirit of the living god in you surely the holy spirit will tell you this is wrong stand up even if you were bribed yesterday stand up for the truth redeem redeem the image of the church redeem redeem the image of the church i i say those words with uh, with concern and i know we are all in the same boat kwa hivyo Kenya eh mjue kwamba you are right to picket under article 37 peaceful demonstration and armed like we did in Machakos and the police were there escorting us in fact the OCS huko i wish i knew his name alitoka akani salute <laughs> anambia sisi hatuna uwezo hatuna ubaya piteni fanyeni peaceful demonstration I don't think Kenyans are after destroying anybody's property. And in a situation like we are in Gaucho, the speaker of the uh, bunge la wananchi ambieni watu wetu mtu asiwe kama if you believe in the change you are looking for don't believe in violence. Gaucho mwenyewe ameumia. You can't achieve anything through violence you can't ketini chini in fact uh, we have not met to plan what is happening i saw my friend raila me announce to tarudi huko wednesday eh atujaonana lakini ametuma salamu zake tumeongea kwa simu i told him i'm coming to see my brother george tutaenda tuongee tuone the next thing but we must one thing we must and i repeat avoid violence avoid violence Amen. Eh. if you are to look at the arab spring na kwingineko where they brought change they were not violent they were not violent you can achieve a lot 
the message from Machakos are very powerful. Very powerful. Even I was demonstrating, I was moving there. In fact, I wonder, I think a couple of Twende Kenya, Iyo ya Gaucho, na ya George, couple of Twende, Ngoja Kwanza ni match through Kambani. Watch any match. I liked it. So that everybody will see that uh, this is time for real change. But having said that, we will consider, we will give directions on the next uh, lines of action, guided only by the fact we love this nation. We love our country. Atuna chuki na mtu, tuna chuki na maovu. If a national leader can stand up, because we are dealing with these taxation measures, which are punitive, beyond imagination. Na mtu asimame pale kiongozi katika bunge. Na aseme tulionga watu. Yani anakubali, tumeonga. Tumeonga huyu fulani, mwingine aende ngambo, mwingine asema ni mgonjwa na sio mgonjwa ameenda kwa bibi yake. Eh? Wengine watoroke. Yani unasema mulionga. And that goes unpunished. Yani ni kusema kwamba kama hiyo nafanyika kwa bunge, basi tumealalisha mambo ya Hongo. And therefore, honestly, if a party takes a position, four-line whip, and then you go against it, listen, four years, Nikitu Kidogo, we mabaki four years. Now, one of the things we shall be petitioning Kenyans, after one year, you can be recalled. Eh, you can be recalled after one year. Mwezi moja sunaisha, mwaka moja sunaisha August. Mapetition Kenya hii kwa wabunga mbao waliumiza watu yao na punitive taxes. They will be recalled from everywhere. Even from Uda, utaona. Utashanga, wakenyo wamechoka. Sipunda jameni wamechoka. Eh, hey, people will be recalled. And so, uh, tumepeleka kesi kule kotine kuhusu finance act. Sababu ilichanganywa na mbambo mingi na hiku fuata ukweli. Ikafuata uongo, the current finance act is a fraud to Kenyans. There was fraud in parliament. Na tena pale kwa bunge, ni ukona mtubu ulitumika kupitisha ile finance bill. Wengine wakakuwa persuaded, wengine wakahongwa, wengine wakakuwa coerced. Hiyo kweli ndiyo jia inafaa kutengeneza sharia. Parliament has now remained a rumba stamp of the president. Kila mtu pala mbaa lipigia hii finance bill amelibebewa akili na kichwa na rais. Kuna separation of powers katika katiba yetu. Na section one of the constitution inasema guvu yote ni ya mkenya. Na yaya ni anagawea kidogo rais. Anarudi anagawea kidogo bunge. Anarudi anagawea kidogo judiciary. Na ndiyo tulipo enda pale tukiwa na mwishmua obolo tiende. Na hiyo kesi tuandelea na hiyo kesho. Tumesema watu wa IPRA, kila director, ambao tumepeana service, ambaye alienda kukaa jama, akakaa, aka, aka inua, beya mafuta. Yeye anafaa kufungwa, manake alitharau koti. Kwa finance bill, ni mepiga no. Sawa, sawa. Sisi kazi yetu ni kutetea wananchi. Atuta kubali kupiga yes watu wetu waumie. Ukweli ya maurongo? Ukweli ya maurongo? Wale wanasemekana waliibwa, wengine walilipwa. Mungu atawaona. But I want to say your conscience is very important. Kama ulitumwa vile Kalonzo natafuta kuwa president kiongozi na amekuwa president, vice president na kiongozi wa hii inji. All his offices. Ukifanya kazi ya mungu, mungu atakubariki. Unga higo njuu. Na badu. 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 Unajua ukiongesa VAT. Price ya mafuta inenda juu. Price ya mafuta, bia ya mafuta ikienda juu, kila kitu yote inenda juu. Hata sukuma itaenda juu. Sasa hiyo ndiyo bottom up. Hiyo ndiyo bottom up. Tugua nataka.